everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm doing a review for the win loss ratio for the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room for all of 2019. So, this is a tracking for winning trades and losing trades. I call the trades live in the room every day. Room opens at 8 30 Eastern Time. We usually close out the room between 10 30 and 11, depending on the uh, time we exit a trade, and uh, it's been a very, very good year. So, uh, if you want to come and do the Golden Gap course, you'll be eligible then to join the live trading room. You can't join the trading room without being a student of the class. Um, but I do run classes once a month, so you can join after the class. It just gives you an idea of what your expectations could be if you want to join the room. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So there were 140 winners so far this year, 2019. This is into the end of August, so eight months. 69 losers, four break even, and 213 trades called. So a 68% win ratio for the year to date for the first eight months of this year. And earnings season is coming up in a few weeks, fall trading season. We'll just see really what the rest of the year brings. So it's been a good solid year. Um, I haven't been over trading. Um, we usually do one or two trades a day, preferably one, and your commissions are very low when you're only doing one or two trades a day, That's which is positive, and you get to keep the wins when you stop, when you're up, which again, I encourage people to do. So you have a goal per day, and once you meet that goal, you stop. The trading, 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 trading all day um, doesn't result in more gains. It usually results in more losses. So uh, we do gaps, and if you come and you do the course, you will learn my gap method. And so gaps set up in the morning. Some can continue all day, but I prefer to just do the fast, quick trade in the morning and be done. Okay. So start off the beginning of the year. I uh, was off two trades on the eighth spot. I was a loser, then a winner. Sometimes I do a retake. Then room was closed. Lulu was a winner on the 14th. Netflix was a winner on the 15th. Sink three trades. Loser was the first one second and third winners, 8XP was a loser on the 18th, Q's was a winner on the 18th. Market closed on the 21st. SWK was a winner, COF was a winner, MKC loser, Q's winner. So usually you can see here when I do the first trade and we're up, then I'm done. Starbucks was a winner on the 25th. Cat was a winner on the 28th. GME was a winner on the 29th. T was a loser, then a winner, Q's was a loser, uh, then winner, and SPY winner on the 30th. That was a big day for the market. 31st, X was a winner, QQQs was a winner, V was a loser. No trades in the first and the fourth. Fifth off, EA loser on the sixth, Twitter winner on the seventh. Carb was a loser, first trade, second one winner on the eighth. This is into February, getting into the first earning season of the year. No trades on the 11th, UAA was a loser, Guild was a winner, SPY was a winner on the 12th, Tiva was a loser, SPY was a loser, then SPY was a winner on the 13th. 14th, NTAT was a loser. Both trades, MGM winner, Cisco loser, SPY was a winner on the 15th. 18th market was closed. WMT was a winner, CVS first trade loser, second one winner on the 20th. 21st was DPZ, that was a really nice gap. KHC was a winner on the 22nd, room closed on the 25th. 26th cat was a loser, HD was a loser, and SGM was a loser. That was just a losing day. WTW was a nice winner on the 27th, and HPQ was a winner on the 28th. Then getting into the third month of the year, Spy first trade loser, second one winner, Q's loser, day off on the fifth, trip was a loser on the first trade, then we did target, target lost, and then won the sixth. Care was a winner on the seventh, cost was a really nice gap, first one was a loser, second one winner. Eleventh, no trades, stitch fix just did not work, first and second trades loser, off on the thirteenth, DJ first trade loser, second one winner on the fourteenth, no trades on the fifteenth. <clears throat> OSTK was a loser, SPY was a loser, and FB was a winner on the 18th. DSW was a winner on the 19th, FDX, first trade loser, second one winner, and the third one was a loser. That was a crazy gap on the 20th. GS was a loser, S CSIQ was a winner on the 21st, Nike was a winner on the 22nd. No trades on the 25th, and TV day off on the 26th. 27th, Len was a loser on the first trade, second and third big winners. Lulu was a winner on the 28th, off on the 29th. Spy was a winner on April 1st. Again, you can look up these gaps. On April 2nd, WBA was a loser. 
in the first and second trades. Then the third one was a winner. Hughes was a winner in the second. Hughes was a winner in the third, and Spy was a winner. It was a lot of market trades at the beginning of the year. And again, these are all gaps. It's the only thing I do. Some are bullish, some are bearish. 4-8, BA was a winner. 4-9, BA was a loser. Disney was a winner. 10th, Disney loser. First and second trade. Hughes and the Spy was a winner on the 10th. BBBY was a loser on the 11th. WTW was a winner. 12th, Disney. First and second trade winners. 15th, the Q's was a loser. Second one winner. Disney loser. Second one winner. 16th, QQQ's break even. And BAC a winner. Then on the 17th, IBM was a loser. Q's was a loser. The second trade winner in the Q's and Apple was a winner. Then the room was closed. Apple was a winner and Facebook winner on the 22nd. Twitter was a winner on the 23rd. IRBT, both trades, first and second winner. That was a really nice gap, so we did it twice. 25th, Mo was a winner. MMM was a loser. XLNX winner on trade one and two. 26th, INTC was a loser. WDC was a winner. 29th, no trades. GLW was a loser. Y was a loser. MGM winner, first and second trade. Apple was a winner on May 1st. HLF was a loser. First and second trade. The third, ATBI was a loser. FTNT was a loser. QQQ's winner and SPY winner. And the sixth, FAST was a loser and Nike was a winner. Seven, SPY winner. Two trades. Good one. DDD was a winner on the eighth. QQQ's winner and the SPY winner on the ninth. Tenth, SYMC was a loser. SPY winner. Thirteenth, SPY winner. TIFA winner. May was a good month too. No trades on the 14th. Tifa was a winner. Spy loser. 16th, SWKS winner. Baidu winner the 17th. Baidu, really nice gap. Two winners on the 20th. KSS was a winner on the 21st. Low was a winner on the 22nd. Two trades. Baidu winner. JW win winner. That was a nice day. QQQ's winner on the 23rd. Vacation for the Memorial Day. Facebook winner on June 3rd, TV day off, no trades on the 5th, Baidu was a loser, AU was a winner on the 6th, and Domo was a winner on the 7th. Into June then, Lily was a winner, CRM was a winner, HDS loser, Lily winner, 12th, QQQ's break even, which is rare, but that happened, Facebook winner, 16th, Facebook loser, Twitter winner, AVGO is a loser, QQQ's break even the 14th, 17th, no trades. 18th Disney loser, HIB winner, and Adobe was a winner on the 19th. Adobe's coming up this week. C the CCO was a winner on the 20th. 21st, Spy loser, CCO winner, BYND winner. No trades on the 24th. Baidu winner on the 25th. BYND loser, Mew winner on the 26th. CAG winner on the 27th, and no trades on the 28th. Then off for July 4th, no trades on the 9th. Spy was a winner, BBY winner, Spy winner. No trades on the 15th. 16th, DP, Z, DP. PZ, first trade loser, second one winner, and GS won the winner. Then on the 17th of July, CSX winner, URI loser, Netflix winner, no trades on the 19th, AMAT winner, TV day off the 23rd, UPS winner, top loser, Tesla was a winner the 25th, Starbucks was a winner the 26th, no trades the 29th, UAA was a winner, and T2 was a winner on the 31st. And then August was a good month. BYND winner on the 1st, SQ loser, NTAP winner, QQQ's winner on the 5th, no trades the 6th, QQQ's winner on the 7th, KHC winner on the 8th. No trades the 9th, SPY winner, 13th, no trades, M winner, KSS winner on the 14th, 15th, day off, 16th off, 19th, no trades, 20th, HD winner, low was a loser on the 21st, target winner, 22nd, LB winner, Bud Locker was a winner on the 23rd. BMW was a winner on the 23rd. No trades on the 26th. SJM winner on the 27th. Spy loser on the 28th. Two days, or two trades, then a break even. Uh, target loser and target winner. This is the 28th. I should say target. BBY was a winner on the 29th. Alta was a winner on the 30th. So that's all the trades for the first eight months of the year in the trading room and calling the trades live. And with the support of a mentor and a teacher, I'm telling you, you can do it. If you've struggled in the past, you can learn how to do it for yourself. The time it takes you for learning, it varies from person to person. It's really up to you. But I teach my method in a class once a month in the Golden Gap course. The class for September, September 21st and 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, cost of the class is $64.99 US dollars. Class is online, it could be anywhere in the world and take it. I would not wait to the, the last day to sign up, but you can sign up in, until Friday. Unless spaces fill up, then I take people for the October class. 
Um, if you want to do the trends course, it's September 24th. This with this class, which is the Golden Gap, which is the long-term trends trades, plus the Golden Gap, which is the system, 26 points, it's $69.99 for both. Class is online. And again, I, I would sign up if you want to learn how to trade and be in the room for this earnings season. If you're interested in only the options newsletter, which was none of these trades that I talked about here in this lecture, but just so you know, there's a separate options newsletter that has no prerequisites. The trades are emailed to you. All these trades that were called live in the room, and I run the room every day. If you're interested in signing up for the class in September, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and have a great month of September, everyone.